Hey, what's up guys? This is Kitchen Confidence and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make Christmas eggnog. Okay, so to make this eggnog what we're gonna need is three eggs, a third of a cup of sugar, a dash of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two and a half cups of milk. Alright, so to get this eggnog going the first thing we're gonna want to do is make a custard. And to do that we're gonna take these eggs, sugar, and milk Get that into a bowl. I'm going to whisk it up over a double boiler so it thickens up into a custard. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do to get this custard going is to crack these eggs into this bowl. Make sure none of the shells pieces go into there because that's not what you want in a custard. So let me just get that. So I'm going to add the third of a cup of sugar and really quickly I'm going to whisk this together and all I'm doing is whisking this to thicken it up a little bit and get some air into that and you're going to want to whisk and keep whisking until this starts to get a little lighter in color that's when you know that you've got a good amount of air whisked into that so I've got this beaten up a little bit there just gonna add the milk that's two and a half cups of milk and now we're just gonna take this over to the stove alright so I've got my pot of water going so I'm just gonna set this over that and I'm just gonna let it start to thicken up. So the steam that's built up right here is gonna heat this up. So it's gonna cook it gently, much more gently than it would if I was to put it just directly into this pot itself. So we're just gonna let this go and then come back to it when it's thickened up enough. Got this thickened up now. And the way you can tell if it's thick enough is if it's going to coat the back of a spoon. And you want a nice coat, like that. And you can run your finger through there and it leaves that streak, you're good. So I'm going to take this off and put it into an ice bath that I've prepared. And we're just going to start chilling it down. So I set this into my ice bath and I'm just going to whisk it to help cool it down faster. And an ice bath is basically what you might think it is, just water ice. It's to quickly help chill things down and I've had it in here for a couple of minutes. It's already starting to cool down a bit. You can see because it's cooling down it's thickening up a little bit. And once it cools down completely, then we're going to be able to move on to the next step. Here's a little tip with using an ice bath when you're trying to cool something down quick. As you can see here, I've got the ice bath. The level of the water is higher than what I've got in here. Each time I whisk it and I'm bringing some of this custard up to the side of the bowl, that is going to chill down a lot faster than what's sitting down here in the rest of it and that's going to help you get it cooled down a lot faster than you would if you let it sit normally in the fridge or just you know to cool down by itself actively doing it this way you are going to get a faster chill on it and doing it where the level of your ice bath is above your what you're trying to cool down you can bring it down a lot faster by doing this. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla now. I'm going to whisk that in. And now we're going to set this aside because this is ready to go. And then we're going to finish it off with now making our whipped topping. Okay, so right now I've got a cup of chilled whipping cream in a bowl. And now I'm going to add to that half a teaspoon of vanilla and 
two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I'm just going to whisk this up to get some whipped cream. And you can use a mixer if you want. You can do it by hand. Either way, you just want to get this nice and whipped up to stiff peaks. Alright, so we've got nice stiff peaks on this. And what we're going to do now is take one cup of this and fold that into our soft custard. So let's go ahead and measure out one cup. I'm going to drop this in and very carefully and very gently I am going to fold this into the custard. If I were to just stir it up, I'd lose all of that air and nice fluffy texture that I've gotten in the whipped cream. So I'm just gently stirring this in, folding it in. I'm letting it combine, but I'm not, you know, I'm not losing that air. I'm trying to maintain it so it has a nice thick, rich texture to it. So you don't want to go really aggressively doing this. You want to be nice and gentle and make sure that you're softly, gently doing this. You don't want to overdo it either because you're just you're just gonna lose all of that air that you worked hard to get you're basically lose all of it doing doing this too too quickly or without thinking about how you're getting this together all right and that looks good right there so let's get this ready to serve All right guys, that's the video, Christmas eggnog. I hope you guys liked it. Try it out for this Christmas and hopefully you and your friends and family enjoy it as much as we do. So guys, please subscribe, like and share. If you like this video, I'm gonna do a whole bunch more Christmas videos and I hope you guys stay tuned for that. And I'll see you next time. And remember guys, kitchen confidence starts with you.